Jennifer Scott Demiglio is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $8,000 today on Scrabble. A five-letter word. The clue is, it's between you and me. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer words sent in by Gladys L. Goldie. She's from Reno, Nevada. Got a T-shirt for you. What? Yes. Gladys, Gladys S. Goldies. What did I say? Well, Gladys, we just changed your middle name. But anyway, you got a T-shirt. And today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at 8,000. Winner's going to get a chance to that later on the show. And Charlie has our first two players. She's our champion. He's a rocket scientist. Originally from Long Island, New York, Jennifer Scognamiglio. And originally from Farmingdale, New York, John Martillo. All right, nice to have you both with us. How are you, Jennifer? Jennifer's got 1,500. She's doing pretty good. Tell us about yourself, huh? Oh, well, um, in January, on an impetuous whim, I packed up from New York and moved out here to sunny Southern California. And I'm loving it, and I'm thrilled, thrilled to be back on Scrabble. Oh, well, good. It's nice to have you here. Good Thank luck you. to you today. Hiya, John. Hey, Chuck. So they can say John ain't no rocket scientist. <laughs> they can be wrong, can't they? Yeah, well. Tell us about yourself. Well, uh, like you said, I'm a rocket scientist, which is a fancy way to say I'm an aerospace engineer mm -hmm. who specializes in doing performance analysis of, of various boosters. And um, I've been in California six years and love every minute of it. I've done performance analysis of several boostiers, but never a booster. <laughs> Try to say every word, John. Well, that don't take no rocket Just scientist. Just thought I'd throw at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the challenger. You're going to go first. We're going to be building on the letter S. Going to take a look at the board first, though. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, you get to play until somebody gets three words right, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, the player goes on to our Scrabble Sprint. They got a chance of that bonus worth 8000 today. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. Building on the letter S, eight letters in the word. And the clue is, it costs time and money to get one framed. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. I got lost there for just a second. Well, I don't see it, so I'll have the two and the three. E or an M? I'll take the M, please. It costs time and money to get one framed. It's all yours, Jennifer. I know this is a long shot, but I'm going to try. All right. Snapshot? No. No. I just thought I would try. Fell in there, though, didn't it? Yeah, it yeah, did. Well, it's a good idea. John? Okay, I'll take the four. A or an E? Uh, give me the E. It costs time and money to get one framed. I'll take the A. <sighs> Not yet. I'll take the five and the one. B or a G? Give me the G. First position in the word, it's worth $500. Can I have the clue it again? It takes time and money to get one framed. <sighs> I'm afraid not. Give me the B. No, nope, that's a stopper. <laughs> Jennifer, only one left. Great. I'll take the 10 and the 7. Another G and an O. I'll try the G. Takes time and money to get one framed. And the O. That's all three of them. You know what it is, John? Um, no, I don't. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It costs time and money to get one frame. Ready? Go. John. Gangster? That's right. Okay, Jennifer, we're building on the letter T in gangster. There are seven letters in this word. The clue is, she felt a little out of place. She felt a little out of place. That's it. Well, let's start with the eight and the four. A and an H. Place the H. It's worth $500. She felt a little out of place. And I feel out of place, too. I'm going to have to place the A. No. John? She felt a little out of place. Nope, not there. Give me the one and the five. D or an R? I'll place the D. Uh, and the R. She felt a little out of place. Nope, uh, not yet. So give me the six and the nine. Well, there you go. Uh, give me the O, please. 
and give me the other O for $500. She felt a little out of place. Dorothy? That's right. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Big comeback here, Jennifer. You need one. Okay, He's getting all the breaks. He sure is. Building on the letter O in Dorothy. Nine letters in the word. The clue is you can stop and smell them in L.A. <laughs> you can stop and smell them in L.A. That's right. <laughs> the 11 and the 4. S and a C, two chances of $1,000 up there. How about the S? And the C? I'll take the seven and the three. A and a T. The T. The A. You can stop and smell them in L.A. Let me think now. Okay. <laughs> Factories. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I had to do it. Couldn't take a chance at that point. All those stoppers All still out. Sure, out. you can do the right for a minute. thing. Building on the letter E in factories, Jennifer. Going to stay with you. Okay. Six letters in the in the word. The clue is a pretty fancy get together. A pretty fancy get together. Let's take the six and the three. I and an R. The I. And the R. It's worth one thousand dollars. I'm going for it. Soiree. You got it. Soiree is it. Yes. Great comeback. Great comeback. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Great comeback. It's all tied up. Anybody's game. Good luck to both of you. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last one's up to you. Building on the letter O in soiree. <clears throat> Eight letters in the word. The clue is they'll help you get through the door. They'll help you get through the door. Ready? Go. They'll help you get through the door. Jennifer. Bell hops. You got it. What a comeback, John. Oh, I know. That was devastating. I was close. $500 to you, though. Thanks. You it's enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it myself. You enjoyed having you on the show. Good luck to you. Jennifer's up to $3,000. She's in shock. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back and get to more place for this time. I can't believe it. I just can't the Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. <laughs> Jennifer Scoglamiglio has uh, $3,000 and uh, she's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to try to beat that time. Mind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good and you're on your own. Thank you. First word, five letters. One of them is a classic. One of them is a classic. Ready? Ready. Go. S. L. A. One of them is a classic. C. Colas. Yes. You don't think of that as being a classic. Mark Twain. And mm. Seven letters. He used to have feet of clay. He used to have feet of clay. Ready? Ready. Go. C. S. A. He used to have feet Cassius. of clay. Yes, very nicely done. Third word, eight letters. Some of them are for rent. Some of them are for rent. Ready? Ready. Go. P. A. Y. Some of them are for rent. M. N. Payment? Yes. Good kid guess. That was tough. That was real hard. Wow, that was hard. It was so obvious it wasn't yeah. obvious. Last word, nine letters. Moonwalker. Moonwalker. Ready? Ready. Go. S. T. R. Moonwalker. G. A. Moonwalker. Armstrong. Yeah, very nice. When the day came up, I, I must tell you, you're shaking your head with 32.9, and that's because you were so able to accomplish a great time the last time you were up here. That, I think, I think that's going to be a good time. I do. I'll be surprised if it doesn't hold up. We'll be back. 
Yeah, I'll be real surprised. Two new players, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's an art student. He's a fire eater. From Encino, California, Karen Fetter. And originally from San Angelo, Texas, Tommy Perryman. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Karen? Hi, great, Chuck. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm an art student at a local community college, and I'm currently waiting tables at a major hotel. Well, good. It's nice to have you here. Thanks. Yeah, good luck to you. And uh, Tommy? What do what you, what are you, what are you, okay. You're Hello, a, Chuck. You're a fire eater, okay. I'm a fire eater. Right. I'm a dancer, and as part of my act, Chuck, I eat fire. If I can get it lit, I've got I was something say, to show you. Man's good at eating it, he just can't start one. Here we go. <laughs> can they see that at home? <laughs> well, now, how in the world, what, what do you, how do you do that? That's my secret, Chuck. No, but wait a minute. <laughs> What kind of stuff is that? There's obviously something that burns that doesn't burn. That's my secret, Chuck. Well, I know. <laughs> there are 57 guys in Jamaica that have that same secret on any given Saturday night. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's true. I mean, you know, there's about a fire eater every block down there. Don't let the kids try it at yes. home. Yes, kids, if you're watching, don't try this at home. It's for professional use only. Thank you. Who want to try I did. Let's go to the board. Building on the letter R, nine letters in the word. The clue is some of them have gone back to get their masters. All right, let's play Scrabble. I'll have three and seven. E and a B. Let's have the B. Place the E for me. Some of them have gone back to get their masters. I don't see it. Okay, take two more. Let's have number two and number eight. M or a T? Place the T. It's all yours, Karen. Okay, Chuck, I'll take number six. M or an N? I'll take the M, please. Some of them have gone back to get their masters. I still don't know it. I'll take the N, please. And I'll take two more tiles. Okay. The five and the four. Y and an A. I'll take the A, please. Some of them have gone back to get their masters. That Y is a stopper? Dobermans. Dobermans, that's right. Okay, Tommy, building on the letter A in Dobermans, seven letters in the word. The clue is sometimes when this comes in the door, love flies out the window. All right, Scrabble. <laughs> this is really, I number have to admit, one. this is really cute. Very, that's not yours, Gary. And number eight. Oh. Eight. <laughs> D or a B? All right, let's have the B. Sometimes when this comes in the door, love flies out the window. I don't have it yet. Place the D for me. $500. Sometimes when this comes through the door, love flies out the window. I'd like to have the money, but I don't see it. I'll go for two more tiles. Tile number two and tile number nine. Why in a U? <clears throat> Let's have the U. Sometimes when this comes in the door, love flies out the window. Let's have the Y. I don't see it. Karen, it's all yours. Okay, I'll take the seven and the four. F and an N. The N, please. Can you repeat the clue, please? Yes, sometimes when this comes in the door, love flies out the window. I just don't see it. I'll take the F. Tommy? All right, let's go. Number five and number three. S and an H. Let's have the S. $500. Sometimes when this comes in the door, love flies out the window. Husband! Yes! <laughs> This, that was a good puzzle. That was great. I like that. I could have written a book between the time you hit that and the time you answered that. One, two, three, four, five.
Okay, it's all tied up one to one. We're in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. Will letters go in place one at a time? Last one's up to you. We're building on the letter U and husband. Nine letters in the word. The clue is he bought the farm. Ready? Ready. Go. He bought the farm. What happened to Roy? He bought the farm. He bought the farm. Tommy. Sad Buster. No, sir. Karen. S uh, Sid B Buster? No. Gang, it's Sod Buster. Oh. Sod Buster. Oh. Building on the letter S in Sod Buster. Five letters in the word. The clue is, they're the shape of things to come. They're the shape of things to come. Ready? Ready. Go. They're the shape of things to come. Tommy? Molds. Molds, got it. <laughs> Building on the letter O in molds. Seven letters in the word. The clue is, you need pull to operate one well. You need pull to operate one well. Ready? Go. You need pull to operate one well. Darren? Rowboat. That's it. It's all tied up. Anybody's game. Building on the letter F. Eight letters in the word. The clue is some people throw it out the window. Ready? Go. Some people throw it out the window. Some people throw it out the window. Karen? Confetti. You got it. Well, you got your $500. Oh, hey, thanks, Tommy. All right. Nice have you. Got your 500 Karen's got her 500 We're going to come back and play Scrabble Sprint right after this. Here you go. Good to you, Karen. I'm so nervous. Some of today's participants will receive Ricardo Beverly Hills. Features casual sophistication with textured ballistic grade nylon, fully lined luggage with leather trim furnished by Ricardo Beverly Hills. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. All right, Jennifer Scognamiglio has uh, $3,000, 32.9. Karen Fetter is going to try to beat that 32.9 with the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. One of them is a classic. One of them is a classic. Ready? Ready. Go. S. O. C. One of them is a classic. A. Colas. Yes. The second word has seven letters. Seven letters. He used to have feet of clay. He used to have feet of clay. Ready? Ready. Go. C. A. S. He used to have feet of clay. S. U. S. Cassius. Yes. The third word. Eight letters. Some of them are for rent. Some of them are for rent. Ready? Ready. Go. P. N. A. Some of them are for rent. T. M. S. Some of them are for rent. <laughs> Payments. Uh, Payments. Those were tough. I'll tell you. I told you. What did I say? I knew it was a good time. <laughs> she had another one to go, and it was Armstrong. And Armstrong was as tough as any of the others. <laughs> Cassius, number one, was really tough. And uh, I think Cola was hard, because you just don't think in those terms. Yeah. And, it's, uh, and you both went right down to the end of that one. So anyway, Karen, 500. Thanks for playing the game. Thanks, Tucker. We enjoyed having you. And uh, Jennifer is going to come back and try for 8000 bucks. We'll be right back. Good to you, kiddo. And now, back to Chuck Willery and today's winner. $4,000. Going to try for eight. Two words under 10 seconds. Let's try to do it today. All righty. See what you can do. See what you got to get here. <laughs> All right. First word, six letters. They tend to run around in circles. They tend to run around in circles. Ready? Ready. Go. S. K. C. They tend to. Clock. Yes. Well, that's. I personally didn't get a good time for that first word. That was hard. Yeah. Well, with the right letters, I believe you can get this one. Okay? Seven letters. You have 5.8 seconds to place what you can. He was the king. He was the king. Ready? Ready. Go. P. 
R. He was the king. H. He was the king. Pharaoh. Yes. <laughs> That's a pretty good piece of change. Congratulations. It's all the time we have for today. See you next time. Come on, sweetie. When two mystery writers plot the perfect murder, one of them comes up with a killer ending. Mel Harris stars in The Spider and the Fly, a USA Pictures original tomorrow night at 9. And now, catch MacGyver next on USA. Scrabble, starring Chuck Willary, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red Granny production.